the question about where the steering rack is actually grounded in the Tesla Model 3. So Dad's just checking it out now. Is that the steering rack This is the connector? main earth and power. Oh, because you've got it all plugged in. You put the new one in. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you've replaced it all, of course. So you've got two power supplies for yeah. redundancy. You've got one there and one here. So the steering's got double of everything for redundancy. Okay. In case there's a fault with one side. Yes. So because now that obviously there has got ground to it. So the black one should be ground. So it goes to ground. And this is the power. So you should have no ground there, obviously. Yeah. So it's that one there is ground. So what we need to know is there's is the grounding block there. All those wires are all ground. Okay. That wire is ground. This side here as well, you've got ground mm -hmm. and ground. Yep. So if we go disconnect this one, yep. I would guess that it's one of these. This is my guess because of the thickness of the wire. So if I take that off, take it off the body there, all right, and go, that's already gone to that. See so that's ground? Mm -hmm. Still got ground there, so it's actually going somewhere else. Right. So it's still getting ground. Yeah, I'm trying to work out this wire here where it's grounded. Yes, because it can corrode, apparently. They're all a little bit corroded, all the grounding wires. No matter what I put it on ground. You're not getting any ground. I'm not getting any ground, right? Yeah. So this wire here, these are two steering wires. Yep. Ground. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah. On here, you see why? Because there's not a lot of... That hasn't been cleaned that well. It's still got paint under it, so you're relying only on the on the bolt, right. which is fine to ground it there. See the bolt? There's the bolt, the head of the bolt. It's actually got a not a great earth there. So what you'd want to probably do is this wire here is I'm not sure that that's for ground for both of them. I'll tell you that, right? No ground. No ground. That one's ground. So the bottom one is the other ground, I'd assume. Right, so that bottom one, I would think, would be the other ground. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the bottom contact power supply, the bottom one here, is the ground for that one, mm -hmm. that black wire, is the bottom one here. Okay. Right? Yep. And the top one, so that's the blue one's power, mm -hmm. the black one's your ground. Yep. The ground for that one, so click, click them back in, lock the tabs in. Mm -hmm. So the, the top one here, is the top one here, ground. Okay. And yeah, the grounding surface doesn't actually look that great. It doesn't look that great. I would be cleaning the paint off there yeah. with a wire wheel or something, get it down to bare metal, mm -hmm. clean the back of that connector, yeah. um, and then put it on. Right. Or even preferably put a, um, a multi-star washer. Yes. A special... So it bites into the metal. Bites into the metal. There's a special washer you can buy yeah. that bites into the metal and grounds it better. Okay. There's awesome. a special grounding washer you can buy. There you go. Dense Dodge Tesla improvements. Improved grounding on the steering rack. Coming soon. So steering rack grounding is here on the left hand. Yes. In our so case here. Because we're on a right hand drive vehicle yeah. in Australia. It's on the left hand strut tower. The two main connectors there. Not these ones. These ones are for other grounds, but... Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Good idea to do. Yeah. Is to probably get a series of washers and put them on every one of them. Yep. Because they're it, it all like that. Yeah, they're all like that. This paint underneath. Mm. But what it really relies on is the thread of that. Yep. And then biting onto the head of the bolt, but there's not a lot of contact area there. So I would probably be inclined to put a, a grounding washer underneath. Mm -hmm. There's a special grounding washer you can buy. Got it.